about Amazon quickly, and this is because, of course, everybody knows they're the world's online retail giant, but they're in the process of buying a company called Whole Foods. Now, I've been into a few of these. It's a super premium food produce operator, and they're buying it because they want to get all those points of sale, yep. points of presence, but it also is an opportunity for Amazon to continue experimenting with grocery delivery because Amazon's yep. such a dominant player. They want to be in groceries, but they haven't really cracked that market yet. Market capitalization of Amazon, 40, no, forget that, it's 464 <laughs> billion dollars. Yeah. It's in the first division. Price to earnings ratio, well, it's sort of infinite. They sometimes make profit, they sometimes don't. They're really focused on growth and they definitely do not pay dividends. So what do you think of their initiatives to get into groceries? I suppose at this point it's really just experimenting. It is experimenting and again possibly to diversify their incomes. Remember if mm. there are many on online uh, shopping, what yep. they might want to do is to say, well, we're not paying dividends and most of our investors are looking in the long term in terms of capital growth. Possibly yep. if they go into um, uh, the food stuff, the uh, retail, they might start you know, getting a little bit of stability in terms yeah. of their income mm. um, and attract uh, investors. Interesting, because they may, they may not, but it could just be that they want to use the Whole Foods stores as delivery points for their other goods because the Whole Foods are mostly focused on wealthy suburbs, towns yes. that have universities in them, you know, where there are trendy people yep, who yep. are prepared to pay that extra yep. for the most supreme I agree with you. I, I think that's a very good point. They could mm. be using that as a distribution uh, strategy, yeah. really, yeah. to say, you know, as people go into those shops around, even if you do online, yeah. Yeah. possibly to come to a point where you can purchase online and you just collect. Yes, that becomes your collection indeed. point. Because yeah. the grocery experiments they've done to date, they've done that. You yep. order online and you pick it up. Yes. Or you have curbside pickup. Yes or you have uh, till this, yep. in other words, no cashier. Exactly. You just grab the stuff and then yep. it all yep. picks it yep. up as it goes yep. out with I, some I fancy I know scanner. there was technology where guys are saying, you know, we could be now going to Woolies, but you just call, you know, just go online. Whilst mm. you're driving there, mm. your trolley will be ready <laughs> and you just pay and you pick up. Yeah, because online really is only one of the kind of technologies that Amazon is experimenting yep. with. Okay, look, as far as Amazon's concerned, we love it. We own it in the portfolio. Are you hot or not on Amazon? I mean, it's got crazy valuations. There's the share chart. Thousand dollars a share, why not? Uh, exactly. I, I think <laughs> if we were to just look at it to say momentum, you're almost mm. saying you're going against the grain. It's one of those stocks we've got to believe in to say, well, this is the trend yeah. and this is what the young people are, are, are doing and possibly this is the future. And their Amazon Prime package, they're selling more and more stuff, movies, entertainment, all that kind of stuff. I've seen some people who reckon it should be worth $1,300 at least, but you know, who knows? We're all sucking our thumbs here. It's got lots of space to grow. It's yes. big already, but it's yes. got a lot of space to grow. No, certainly. Mm. I would be hot on it. Hot. Yeah. yeah, I'm hot on it.